it's a jungle out there. And speaking of chaos, we wanted to remind you, Take Your Child to Work Day is coming up soon. Yes, in fact, it is just two weeks away, so be sure to tune in Thursday, April 25th, when the kids of KDKA literally take over this show. It's insane. And one of the things they'll be doing is learning about some furry friends with our friends at Wild World of Animals. But Katie is getting a head start. She is there live today to talk reefing. So hi, Katie, tell us about this. Hi guys, welcome to the Wild World of Animals. We got wild children taking over soon, but right now we are surrounded by some of the most beautiful and exotic animals in the world. I've got Grant and Jake here from Wild World of Animals to tell us a little bit about the marine life experience that you guys like to cultivate here. Grant, tell us a little bit about what, what it's like to, to raise and grow corals. Well, it's literally one of the hardest things that I do. I'm a beekeeper, I'm a master falconer, have all these incredible animals, but keeping corals is the most challenging. This Saturday, you can come to the Three Rivers Marine Aquarium Society's annual frag swap, and you can see- Frag swap. Frag swap, I know. Okay. What it is, um, corals can actually be fragged and grown from just little tiny pieces, uh, some corals. And kind of like propagating a plant. Exactly, okay. but very simply, you literally just crack off a piece, put it on something, and away it goes, which is what happens in the wild. So these corals are absolutely stunning, beautiful coral reefs are so important to yes. the Earth's ecosystems, and you can come and see and learn about, and potentially purchase, if you have an aquarium set up, these animals. Now this isn't just a regular fish tank that we're standing <laughs> in front of. You've created that beautiful, natural, perfect ecosystem for the corals, for the live corals to, to exist here, right? Yes, there are a few live corals in here. For instance, down here, that is actually a live living animal. That is a coral. Uh, some are much more difficult to keep than others. And uh, you really wanna learn about them before you go down that path. But it can be done. Um, it can be relatively simple with the right equipment and knowledge. but. We thought it would be fun to kind of incorporate some things that you can touch. Yes. These are things that yes, are coming yes. from the ocean. For instance, this is what is called a pencil urchin. Oh my now, gosh. Full disclosure, all urchins are venomous. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that I, after it's in my I, head. That's how I kind of wanted to set that up. Each of these spines uh, has a venom inside of it. This oh particular gosh. urchin though, it's called a pencil urchin. So the ends are much more blunt yes. and you don't have to worry about being kind of you know, stabbed with them. Right, uh, it doesn't feel sharp or stabby, but I can feel it moving it, around. It's a living creature. It's perfectly fine to be out of the ocean and low tide, these creatures would be exposed. So there's no danger to it. And it is something that you will see in sushi bars even. Yeah. Uh, there's many species. Most species have very pointed spines and you never want to touch them. But it does look like it could be part of the coral or part of the rocks that you would find on Exactly, the ocean this floor. would be part of a living reef. Um, oh my gosh. But now we're gonna move into oh something. Thing that is maybe even a little bit more kind of <laughs> strange looking. What is going on here? Yeah, this is called a brittle star, and this is, of course, in the star, uh, sea star family. We no Whoa. longer call them uh, starfish because it's not technically a fish. Oh. But this animal is carnivorous and will even eat pieces of food, but in a reef tank, it would eat detritus and other things. It's, you know, part of what you call your cleanup crew. Cleanup crew. Yeah. So is it the fact that it's moving around on my hands means it's looking for things to clean up? Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, he's just, you wow. know, he's just kind of, you know, it's a very simple creature. On the underside of his body is an opening which doubles as his mouth and his anus. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Naturally. Which, which means he always he's has. He's he, very efficient. Well, he always has bad breath, too. So <laughs> it's very, very unique. You'll see lots of animals like this at the frag swap. Jay is going to kind of give you some of the particulars so you know when, where, and how and all that and that's good happening stuff. this Saturday quickly Jay. this Saturday April 13th at the Princescape Arena in South Point starts at 11 o'clock goes to three lots of great stuff lots of corals be more coral than you see in one place short of the Great Barrier Reef right that is true um, and we have a raffle with a lot of great prizes there's a great door prize donated by Petland Norwin a great door prize of a beautiful torch that's worth up to $600 Grant will be doing a show with a bunch of different animals, Beautiful. not just marine animals. So. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to check it out. We hope people will get a chance to come see you guys. But we are not done here nope, yet. When we, when we come back, I actually get to feed a capybara, which I'm so excited about. Yes. Stay with us here on PTL. We will be right back with the capybara.